hi friends my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to equally export the data to two different CSV files using SSIS so in this video we will see how we can export the data from a SQL table to two different CSV files using SSIS so let's jump to the demo I got a SQL server 2019 instance and then I got a work database and in the work database I got a table email table and this contains 1000 records in it let me remove the top clause from here yeah, so it contains total 1000 records so I want to export the data from this table to two different CSV files on the D files location okay so that's what I want to do so how we can achieve this one so there are multiple ways to export the data to two different CSV files but one of the easiest method that I can think of is that we can use the modulus operator here so how we can use the modulus operator because we know that there is an ID column here email ID so we can use the email ID column here so email ID will be the dividend in this particular operation and then we can use the modulus operator here and then we can use the divisor here so the divisor will be 2 and whatever result will come from this it will be called as reminder so I will call it as reminder so how modulus operator will work that you can try to divide a dividend by the modulus and then the result can be seen as a reminder okay so for example if there is one and if you divide the one using the modulus as two then the result will be one and if you are trying to divide the two with the modula as two then the result will be zero so if a number is fully divided by two then the result will be zero like two four six eight for all these numbers ten the result will be 0, the remainder will be 0 and for example for 1, 3, 5, 7 for all these numbers if we divide it by 2 using the modulo operation then the result will be 1 so let me execute this particular query so you can see that the remainder is coming like 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 something like this so we can easily use this particular extra column for calculating like how we can uh, you know divide our data into two different parts so let me just copy this particular query from here and open the SSIS package so this is my blank SSIS package and I can use the data flow task to export the data to two different CSV files and I can configure the data flow task because we are going to read the data from a SQL server table so we will be using a OLEDB source here now I can configure the OLEDB source and uh, I can create a new connection here my table exists in the work database so I will select this connection click OK now under data access mode I will select SQL command here and then I will paste the query that I copied if you check the columns so these are the columns those will come from the source table and I can click on OK we can use a conditional split transformation here because the conditional split transformation can generate multiple outputs based on the columns those are coming from the source so I can connect the OLEDB source with the conditional split transformation and then I can right click and edit the conditional split transformation now if you see under columns there is a column reminder here so I can just drag and drop the reminder column into the condition and then I can write like if reminder equal to 0 then we can make this one as like part 1 and then the default output will become the part 2 so I can call it as part 2 and now I can click on OK now what I can do that uh, I can use the flat file destination here and then I can connect the conditional split transformation with the flat file destination and I will select part 1 here ok and I will also call this OLED destination as part 1 now what I can do I can go to the D files location and I can maybe create a file here the blank file email underscore part 1 ok and maybe I can call this particular file as dot csv alright and now I can just configure the CSV file so I can go to the edit and then I can make a new connection here ok email underscore part 1 and then I can browse the file that I just created select the file open and then I can click on column names in the first data row so there is one important thing that you can go to the advanced and you can delete the reminder column from here because this is not required this is the extra column so I can click on ok if you go to the mappings so you can see that input columns have been mapped with the destination column so this is good I can click on ok 
so this is the code for writing to one file now I can just drag and drop the another file as well into the data flow task and I can call this one as part 2 and then I can just connect the conditional split transformation with the part 2 and I can go back to the D files location and create a new file here as well full part 2 email underscore part 2 dot csv okay and now I can just configure the part 2 flat file destination as well I can click new to create a new flat file connection click ok and I can call this one as email part 2 I can browse the file select the file type to csv file email underscore part 2 click open we can click on column names in the first data row here and then if you go to the advanced then you can delete this extra column here as well reminder I can click on delete and then I can click on ok and you can check the mapping so all the input columns have been mapped with the destination columns and you can click on ok so now our SSIS package is ready and if for example if you execute the SSIS package then it should select the data from the SQL server table and then it should export it to two different equal CSV files so you can see that 1000 records came from the source SQL table and they have been inserted to two different CSV files if you check the data in the CSV file then you will see that let me open it in text fed so the data has been exported like half data has been exported to one CSV file the email id is something like 13579111113 and if you check the another part then it will the id will be like 24681012 something like this so this is one of the method to equally divide the data from a sql server table to two different csv files of course there are some other method as well to divide the data into multiple CSV files if you don't have the ID column for example and maybe I can discuss that in coming videos as well so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much